Hi, tentacles. <laughs> hey, Estonian. Hey, ogre. Are you ready for tentacles? There's tentacles. Or I don't know if that's a question. There's tentacles. Estonian ogre. How you guys doing? I thought this was the new Mario game. Yeah, it is. You're correct, actually. I heard that this is an Animal Crossing Mario crossover. All right. Bam. Bam. All right. This is the sinking city. There is, like, no sound, dude. I just put my headphones on. It's silent. Delicious? Oh, man. Now you've made me want to play a delicious game. Look what you've done. All right. There's the sound. All right. Difficult. I haven't even played yet. How can I pick my difficulty? <laughs> um, no. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that up. It's silent because it's spooky. <laughs> wow. All right. I think we're good. Turn the brightness up a couple ticks. If it's too loud, I'll bump it and stuff, but we'll, we'll see. New game. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as requested, I've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmount, Mass. Turns out that your assumptions were correct and that such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmount, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Perhaps yourself, or prepare yourself, then come to Oakmount as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes von der Berg. Bring it, bring in rhythm bot. <laughs> Yo, Hawaiian guy, thank you so much for the host. How you doing today, mate? Welcome, welcome. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready to see what this game has for me. I'm ready for some sinking and some city. Press any button to continue. If you die, your last save will be loaded and your character will reappear in the closet safe zone. Okay. You're sunburnt? Dude, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, man. I'm doing alright. I've been putting pressure on my foot today for the first time. Been interesting. I'm sorry you're sunburnt, dude. Oh, nice. <laughs> is it, is this the sinking ship? instead of the sinking city. Oh, what's up? I don't know your name. I've never seen you before. Don't know what your name is.
Well, that was early on the tentacles. I don't know why it wants me to keep skipping. Yo, it's that sweet dream within a dream. I guess I'm dressed. All right. Oh. Oh, you have to hold A. Got it. Okay, hello. Why would I hit A does it? Oh, I guess I can like look at things. Oh, that's why. It was on the desk and I didn't see it. Uh, okay. As requested, I've re- Oh, wait, this is the one. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Activate. Cool. Frosty welcome. Side cases completed. Qu qu completed quases. Lore. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there's a skill tree. In Nordic lore, I hear they call that thing Squidward. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, you're probably right. <laughs> I don't have a map. Okay. Oof. I'm gonna need to turn that up more. A lot more. Oh, that's way better for my sanity. I may even turn it up more. <laughs> take a take a photo. Oh, it's a crash button. That's always good. Okay. Yo, I got it. Took a photo of that thing. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Yo, that's the first words this guy has said the entire game. The first words are very important. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Oh, hey. What's up? Take your belongings off my ship first. Okay. Never trust a tourist advertisement. I thought I grabbed everything I could grab. I'm not gonna lie. Get out of here, gun. Never trust a tourist advertisement. What else am I missing? So I have a brick, a med kit, and a, a camera. D-pad do anything? Whoa. Whoa! Okay, so this does this. This allows you to see the unseen. Okay. Uh, interesting. So right on the D-pad does that. Up on the D-pad does that. Which is nice, honestly. Left on the D-pad does... Nothing. This does this. Takes me into eagle vision. Or Cthulhu vision, I guess. Why is there... Okay. Why are there two beds with the same woman? <laughs> How did that happen? Better be getting Miss Zogert. No worries, dude. Is there any way I can, like... Hope I never have to oh. lose it. But something tells me I will. I had to look at it again? That's odd. Okay. <laughs> We're good. I didn't think I had to look at it again, but that makes sense, I guess. Now get out! Oh, he's so nice. Such a nice dude. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah. Much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? 
Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Oh, hello. What's the deal with the city? Nice suit. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. Nigh! But you made it, Mr. Lee. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Yeah, sure, man. The flood? Tell me about this flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? You know, would you say that the city is sinking? That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. E. Mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton. Is already Throgmorton. Ahead. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. So I I know very very little about the Cthulhu mythos. Just throwing that out there. I've read a little bit about it, but I know very little. So this is going to be interesting. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Does he wear yellow? Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline. A philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. I'll need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair enough. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Oof. Here's the key. Sounds charming. That's what I was thinking. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Lee. Oh, my goodness. What do you do here? How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought, like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Thanks. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular. Its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand. So, you better know where to turn in search of a lead. But, you've taken me very strongly by the hand. You've given me a hotel, a boat. <laughs> oh, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Very reassuring. <laughs> we'll meet again, Mr. Reed. Okay. Yo, welcome to Oakmont, a town on the rise. 
Yep. Looks good. Looks like a real tourist trap. I'm sure people love the barnacles growing out of the the uh, buildings. Oh, hey, what's up? I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. <laughs> Your features are unusual. Town of Dead of the Dead Rising. <laughs> If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a PI. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart. The best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Interesting. Who are the Innsmouthers? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. The port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just... refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. Okay, you know, I'm gonna try and avoid the, the your features are unusual option. Unless I have to pick it, I probably want to steer away from that, you know? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. But I... I said I would help already, man. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Thanks. Who is Vera? <laughs> Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. Man, it's like going to New York. <laughs> oh, you don't know what that means? It looks like you're not from around here. No, I'm not. That's why I asked the question. But thanks for pointing that out. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, 
My son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Yo, I can do that. It really wants me to pick this. Um... I want to see both of these. I'm worried if I pick one, I won't get the other, but let's just see. Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Okay. I'll be going, then. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. He seems nice, relatively. I've said everything I know. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer, and keep your hands where I can see them. You got nothing to say? All right. Umbrella guy? Oh, I can just push doors open. Nice. This game reminds me of another game. I don't know what it is yet, but there's a it's like completely reminding me of something else. Um a lot of fish in here. Throwing that out there. I know it's a fisherman's house, but you know. Hey, more tentacles. No, not Indiana Jones. I'll, th I'll think of it at some point. Like, the movement is very reminiscent huh. of another this game. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. What? Oh, hold A. That's really jarring. Just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> Alright, let's go up. Oh, hey. I guess I don't know why I didn't expect this people to be in here. I'm gonna throw my sensitivity even more up. There's this... Uh, I hate... I hate this. There's a, like, momentum style of movement where when you first push the stick to turn a direction, it's slow and then it speeds up. I'm not a huge fan of that, but it would take it's tremendous it's effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. For me, it felt a bit like murdered soul suspect. Ah, that's that might be it. <laughs> Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, oh my head! What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? Tomb Raider, you pushed the analog stick in that game too? Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. You know, I'm not gonna lie, you guys seem to be really good fishermen. Like, really good fishermen. I wanna know what happened here. Hey, what's Let up, Chains? How you doing, man? I don't it has been a long us. time, dude. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside, on his business. Then he came back, carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. And he started to make these horrible sounds, and... Okay. My head began to burst. And he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just... Dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Uh. Hmm. 
That sounds familiar. Okay. Where are the others? Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. What is the worst? You just gotta suspect there, man. Watch your profanity chains. Never, I swear if I want. Dab! Oof. Pie! Who is Kay? Who is this K you keep mentioning? Outside of show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Cuth cuth the K Cthulhu? With a, with a K? <laughs> Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. K have mercy on his soul. Okay, bye. Yo, chains. You have a wonderful it. day, dude. Thank you for coming in. Yourself. Stay well, awesome, mate. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or okay. did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. All right. Oh, hello. There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Oh, hello. Hole in the wall? Okay. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Rip. Whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Apparently, I don't like what's over here. Or that was just random? <laughs> I'm not sure. I will, we'll learn. We'll learn about the game. That was an interesting little vision. Five cards short of a full house. I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Interesting little vision. So, that's what an in's mouther looks like. Yep, looks like another, a whole other person. Or, just another person. Not a whole other person, just another person. Seems like Prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Oh, shoot, we have our time period now. Okay. That's a pretty specific time period. Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. I I don't know. Like I know nothing about this game other than it's called the Sinking City and there's Cthulhu. Oh, this was the tutorial thing that I saw. Oh, I hold A. Got it. Same. Uh, but do I do anything about this? Okay. Retrocognition allows you to understand events that happened in the past. Oh, inspect enough evidence on the scene and a vision will emerge. Step into it and find all the critical scenes. Mark the scenes in chronological to gain new evidence. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Seems like Oops. prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Uh, anything? So I guess I should be doing this. Let's just do the same exact thing if I do it again. Yeah. Oh, and I have to watch it again? Okay. Cool. I assume that's Throgmorton's son. Hello. Assume this is me stepping into the past. Take this, ape face. 
Oh. Interesting. Yeah, run! Interesting. Oh, shoot, that's in the other room. What's happening? Okay, let's see what we have here. Man, this would be interesting if police could do this, wouldn't it? <laughs> it's kind of like... What's happening? Oh, I can number them, okay. Um, it's kind of like... Uh, What's minority Report. Happening? I mean... Seems pretty straightforward. Am I missing anything? This seems relatively straightforward, unless I'm missing something obvious. Let's make it sure. I just want to make sure. So, one, two, take this three. Face. Yeah, run. When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Cool. Mind Palace, huh? What the heck does Mind Palace mean? <laughs> okay. Uh. Cool. I hear. I still hear those voices. Let's see what you find, newcomer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. What does Mind Palace mean? <laughs> um... Oh, cool. You, there's fast travel in this game. That's nice. Chronological order, yeah. Ah! Mind Palace. Once the main investigation clues... Er, investigation of the main case reveals clues for your Mind Palace. Press pause to open the case book and switch to Mind Palace. Ah. Combine pairs of relevant clues to get evidence, crucial information for the case. Add it to the case book. Deductions. These explain, uh, these explain nuances of the case and they are displayed in the Mind Palace. Okay. Mind Palace. Nice. Okay. Albert, attack the fishermen at their house as soon as you regain consciousness. Uh, the Innsmouthers and Throgmortons are an ongoing feud. Fishermen suffered a sudden uh, psychotic outbreak after Albert Throgmorton regained consciousness. Albert fled. Uh, behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad and violent and spoke gibberish. Shot without warning. I'm gonna hit Y and see what it does. Oh, okay. Um, got it. Ah, sorry. I'm, I'm still learning controls. Trophy plate with a strange fish. Looks very lifelike. Ugh. Okay. How do I go over? How do I? Oh, there we go. Uh, lives in the... Yep, yep, yep. This is what the guy told us earlier. Fisherman brought an unconscious Albert to the house and left. Yep. Key to the room at the Devil's Reef. Okay. Got it. So... Uh, behave strangely after returning from the sea. Bam. Oh, what if I hit Y now? Okay. Um. So, select. Uh, behave strangely after returning from the sea. 
Attack the fisherman as soon as you regain consciousness. Albert Throgmorton was dangerous and posed a threat to Lewis Flynn and his fellow fishermen. Oh. Oh. Okay. So I can... As Lynn's mother, Lewis, and his people suffered at the hands of Throgmortons, could that be the reason to hate them? Um... Oh, why do I have Albert returned again? Wait. Wait. <laughs> Did I mess it up? I think I might have messed it up. Oh, well. We'll, we'll find out, I guess. Oh, can I manually save, by the way? That was something I wanted to check. Oh, I can. Cool. Bam. Bam, I guess. Albert Throgmorton spread some of the psychoactive influence has made everybody nearby suffer hysteria. Uh, I can track down Albert. Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight. I can track them using my supernatural sense. And I can't use this one, I guess. Or I didn't do it right. Either way. Um, Albert and the fisherman fled. I can track them. Okay. I can track them. Sure. Let's track them. I don't think it matters right here, but once I get out of the house, it probably will matter a bit. No, I've never played those Sherlock Holmes games before, no. No, I have not. Why, is this similar or something? Oh, hey, that's not good. So the fishermen pursued Albert, even let off a few shots. The, uh... Guy kept shooting at him. Okay, solving is kind of similar. Gotcha. Oh, he climbed up. Even though Albert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm gonna get out of this for a second and just chill for a minute. It's gonna let my, I assume, sanity meter go back up a little bit. This is weird. Oh, there's something in the pocket. Bloodstain note. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know I owe you, but I'm underwater like everybody else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest. Peter! Peter, you. You borrowing from criminals, Peter. <laughs> Gotta tell Charlotte her brother is a freaking criminal. Right? Whole day. Oh, I'm still losing sanity in here. 
Oh, I'm still in my mode. I thought I got out of it. My bad. Blood. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. I don't know if I need to be in that mode right now. Oh! Padlocks are weak and... Uh, padlocks and weak plagues can be broken by a shot or a melee. Okay. I won't do that yet, though. I can do that yet. I assume this leads up to where I came from. It's just another way down. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> okay. What's the melee? The door won't budge. Ah! Right bump. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Hello? Unexpected? Unexpected completely. <laughs> well then. Are you Throgmorton? One fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. I have a gun, don't I? Oh, okay. Whoops, don't hit them. One okay. fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. Always expect the unexpected tentacle monster. Oh, hello. It's a, it's a very small whale. Okay. Another monster. Do I have a shovel? It is a shovel. I thought it was a machete. I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. I'm just looking around. I don't know how the game works yet, so I don't know if there's like secrets and stuff. All right, Mind Palace. Uh, Lewis pursued Albert. Bar owner is indebted to Lewis. I don't know if that matters. Lewis pursued Albert and continued to, f uh, let's see, wait. Fled, who probably killed Albert, left the site of the murder. Albert fled when wounded. Lewis pursued. Lewis may have wanted to kill Albert outright because he was a Throgmorton rather than just drive him off. And Albert was murdered. Lewis left. No. Really? No? Bar owner is indebted. Lewis left. The inn's mouth of the killed Albert Throgmorton may be hiding at the bar in Oakmount. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. I mean, I figured something like that, but I didn't think that was prevalent to what I had. I thought the other four things went together. And that that one was like, oh yeah, he's probably at the bar. <laughs> like, I got that. I just didn't think that those things went together. This does not open. All right. Well, where's the bar? Or do I not need to find it? Can I just tell what's his face?
I guess we'll find out, right? Very dreary. What the heck? I feel like this is a service I'm doing the city. By killing those things. I really like how big the map is in this game. I don't know yet. I guess I will see. Uh, I've seen some strange creatures around, man. Mr. Throgmorton, now uh, I've encountered something. Uh, what? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them. But we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah, I learned that firsthand. You didn't shoot. Try them. to avoid them when possible, and when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Hey, your son got killed. Sorry that I have to break this to you, Mr. Throg Morton. I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah, I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. My condolences, Mr. Thorngmorton. I had hoped for a happier outcome. Your condolences will not bring him back. So much of our blood spilt for nothing. So much effort in vain. My poor Albert. Tell me you know who did it. I want to look him in the eyes. Make him beg for mercy. Ah. Uh, I mean, it sure looks like it was Lewis. Doesn't it sure, sure, sure looks like it, but it may not have been, right? Ah, it was probably Lewis. Seems like he was a fisherman by the name of Lewis. He had a gun and pursued Albert after he fled the house. Lewis it is, then. What do you know of him? Turns out you were right. He's an insmouther. Yeah. Those filthy scum have done it now. When I'm through with them, they will rue the day they dared lay a finger on a throgmorton. Bring me that dirt bag, Lewis. He and I are do a reckoning. Do this for me, and I'll help you with anything you need. Also, can I just point out that Throgmorton is a really silly name? <laughs> like, I'm having a really hard time being afraid or intimidated by someone named Throgmorton. My goodness, it is very large. Oh my goodness, it's still going. There we go. Oh my gosh, this game is big. Wow. Did it? Wow. I guess we'll see how much of it is interactable. That's cool that they have street names, though. That's really cool. I like the map. It looks like, it actually looks like a map generator that I use. Oh, hey, shark. You're dead now. Uh, where am I, so where am I going? Uh, right. Innsmouth that killed Albert may be hiding at a bar in Oakmont Port. Oh, in Oakmont Port, okay. Torn piece of jacket, I found it along side the bloodstained note. Yep, yeah, okay, so the port. This is the port, isn't it? Ah, okay. Can I mark this? 
Is that my mark? Oh, what the heck? Place mark. Can I change my mark? I can't. <laughs> um, interesting. I don't see it anywhere, though. <laughs> oh, 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 it's just on my compass. Got it, got it, got it. I thought it would appear, like, on the screen. It did not. Hello! The port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Back off. Well, the port is closed by order of Robert Throgmorton. Okay, well, I guess I need to go get permission from Mr. Throgmorton to let me in. Right. That seems like the easiest thing to do. Hey, Mr. Throgmorton, I was told that the port is closed by Mr. Throgmorton. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? You, for real? I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Are you for real? Is this guy an idiot? Hey, it's closed by Throgmorton. Okay. I guess he can't help me. Maybe Albert cl closed the port, but it said Robert. <laughs> The port is closed by order of Robert Frog. Back off. Everybody's so nice. That's like the big takeaway I've gotten from what we've gone through so far. Everybody here is just so nice, friendly, inviting. It's a real pleasant town. Watch out, Canadians. You have a rival for the nicest people. Oh, I was... Oh, I can't... Oh, nice! I was trying to see if I could vault fences, and apparently you can. That's pretty sweet. Your fence means nothing! Game. So is Oakmount, like, an actual city in um, like the Cthulhu mythos or is it just this is a city they made for the game you look familiar but old Billy hasn't seen you around well old Billy I hope you enjoy your drink I love that I don't open doors I just face bash my face into the Come, come closer, troubled soul. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear, yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. Really? I'll bite. Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Okay. I don't want to give her a bullet, I'm going to not lie. Some other time. Maybe. As you wish. Excuse me. Hmm. Oakman's the real city in the U.S. I know that. <laughs> not sure about it being in the Lovecraft lore. I'll look it up, though. 
I mean, you don't have to do that, but that, I mean, you can do whatever you want, really. Nice harmonica playing, dude. Stay alert. Monsters lurk underground. They're everywhere. Ugh, I'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure. Uh, anything else besides no. before I talk to that guy? Oh, I can just go behind the counter. He didn't even say anything. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? See some unsettling creatures. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Keep your gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Okay. I'm not going to tell him I'm looking for Lewis Flynn. Bye. Because he seems to be indebted to Lewis Flynn, right? So. Seems like a bad idea to tip him off. The crafting in this game? Like, getting a bunch of stuff. I just don't know what I'm doing with it. Hello. What the? Get the. Oh. oh, this is a little bit bigger than I thought. I, this is a bigger top area than I thought it was. The door won't budge. Okay. I guess I need to ask him about Flynn. I felt like it'd be a bad idea. He'd just tip off Flynn that I'm looking for him, but. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. How do you know I'm not from here? As it happens, I know you owe a debt to Mr. Flynn. Trouble is, I found your note near the dead body of Albert Throg Morton, son of Robert. So, it seems Lewis is in trouble. Might have even come here to hide. But you hand him over and he won't be back to collect what you owe. Get me. To rock. That would explain the blood. Fine. If it gets me out of this mess, you can have him. So? He's upstairs. Here's the key. You gotta promise to deal with him once and for all. But save the shooting for outside, huh? Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. Well, don't feel great about that, but... We got it done, right? I'm just a shady detective with a shovel. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Throg, that darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. He, that, he doesn't look the same as that picture that we found earlier. I don't think Oakmount's written into the lore exactly, it's just the game setting. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, how did it all happen? Start at the beginning. What happened? We... We, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Mary'd gone to the sea. So I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Mary dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, 
Can't remember a thing. Why do you look like... <laughs> is this... I'm so... Like, again, I am not... Really that well-versed in the Cthulhu mythos? Is this all normal? You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a... A bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspected it had something to do with that ape. Turns out I was right. Why do you look like that? Um, why do people hate the Throgmortons? I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throg Mortons in their high castle only made our life harder, always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. Oh wow, I just looked at his hands. He's got like actual scales on his hands. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah, a newcomer with a gun. Answer the question. Okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The headhunters of Oakmont are called the Grand Families. There's the Carpenters, who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. Now that most of the Blackwoods are gone, there's nobody left to protect us Innsmouthers. Your actions look deliberate, man. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Well, I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. I'm going to ask him why it looks like that. I don't want to do that to Throgmorton because I feel like that's a really bad idea. I would do it to this guy, though. What kind of... Uh, why do you... Your face, it's... uh. Oh, so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you? Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouthers' bodies were blessed by the sheep. Oh. You're going to see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Blessed is what you would call that, huh? I think I've got all I need. Actually, no, no. Maybe Please, it is. Maybe they can breathe underwater or something. Don't tell Throgmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest. Have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. Oh. I'll think about it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. No. You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Now, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Okay. I don't know what I want to do with this. I'm going to save, uh, but after... No, I'm going to save now. I'm gonna save right Rizzity now. Yo, saving is instant. Shout out to the game for that. Like, for real. I found Lewis Flynn, the Innsmouther fisherman that killed Albert Throgmorton, hiding in a local bar in the port. He admitted that he was at the crime scene, but can't remember how exactly he killed Albert Throgmorton. He claims that he was under mental influence, just like the other fishermen at the house, and that he was not in control of himself. He asked me not to give him up to Robert Throgmorton, and I can either reveal his whereabouts to Robert, or save him and lie to Robert. Man, that seems like a really bad idea. Just 
saying. Albert was murdered. Lewis was affected. Albert was murdered. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Will this will this lock me out of something if I pick one or the other? Lewis was aware of what he was doing. Lewis was mentally affected. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't a hundred percent believe the guy, but He also doesn't have, like... I believe that he was mentally affected. But that... He still was aware of what was happening. So I want to pick this and I want to see what happens. Lewis was mentally affected. How do I go down? Okay. Okay. Lewis killed Albert Throgmorton while under some sort of mental influence. He couldn't control his actions and thus can't be blamed for Albert's death. I could try and cover for him or else Robert Throgmorton will have his head. So am I now locked out? Do I have to lie to Robert? That's my question. My question now becomes, if I go back to Robert, can I still tell him the truth? Or am I locked into lying to him? Because if I'm locked into lying to him, this game is going to be really interesting. <laughs> Lots of saving and reloading. I'll go back. I'm going to tell him what happened. I mean, I'm going to tell him the truth. If I can. Uh oh. Okay. The murderer is dead. The murderer is at the bar. And just as I suspected, the Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar. Just ask the bartender. It seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmorton. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Kay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't, but I digress. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? Don't ask questions like that out loud. I might accidentally answer them. Sorry. I'll try and be more specific. Uh, trying to find the source of my visions. I'm investigating cases of insanity. I mean, both are true, right? I'm looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness. All linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Or, or, you know, Cthulhu. Just throwing it out there. Cthulhu, maybe? You ever heard of him? <laughs> A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness of the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Cool. You think any discoveries? Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Oh, well, that's not good. You think the flood's unnatural? You mentioned the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. 
what happened defied scientific explanation. Do these cases of hysteria involve shared visions as well? Since the flood, many Oakmonters have had similar nightmares. Indeed, Professor Doe, the expedition leader, complained of them herself. Waterlogged ruins with unnatural architecture. Sleeping giants, drowned streets, and a voice calming from the depths. Her words exactly. She proposed the expedition, desperately wanting to find the cause. Do you think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert, the only one I could trust, comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. I just, I really want to know why they look like, like, why do people look like animals? I mean, it's not like real life people don't look like this sometimes, but is it Cthulhu or is this just a thing <laughs> that just happens to be going on at the same time? I assume it's Cthulhu, maybe. If I'm going to look, into I this, don't know anything. <laughs> Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition headquarters and a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. I'm sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. I'll mark it on your map. What about my expenses? They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Oh, nice. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Interesting. Ooh, I got a revolver out of that. Hook, line, sinker. Solve your first case. Frosty, welcome. Nice. New case. Lost at sea. Alright. Oh, my mark is still on the map. Oh, no, it's gone. Under the Keel Bar, Oakmont City Port, there's the boat. I wish I could zoom out a little bit more, but it's fine. Uh, oh, wow. That's far. Police Department, Hospital of St. Mary, the Asylum, there's the Throgmorton's place. Oakmont University Library. This is impressive. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I really like that the streets are all named. I don't know why, but that's I think that's really cool. Oh, this building is interesting looking. Ooh. If you want to zoom out, just zoom out. I can't. I tried. Oh! Oh! I, I, I'm I dumb. I thought that the zoom out was, um... The stick. Not the trigger. <laughs> Got it. I'm trying to look for structures that look distinct. Like this right here, and this right here. That building looks unique. That looks like a castle. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting! Gave me a key to the expedition headquarters. It is in northern Coverside at the crossroads of Asher Road and Hubert Avenue. Cool. Fun an expedition to discover the origins of mass hysteria gripping Oakmont. The expedition was to explore the seabed near Oakmont. 
Contact with the expedition was soon lost, and Albert Throgmorton was the only known survivor. He was subsequently murdered. I was hiring. I was hired to find out, or to find any other expedition members that are alive. Throgmorton will be waiting for my report in his manner. Each game's got to have its own zoom out button. I know, right? Okay, so Coverside, Asher, and Hoover. Let's see. There's Coverside. There's Hubert. There's Asher and Hubert. That seems to be where it is. Okay. Well, let's continue into our dripping insanity. I'm telling you, man, that's the worst part about, um, like, playing console games. Is that every game has its own weird buttons. I mean, PC games have that too, as well. But I feel like it's way worse on console. Oh, you want to crouch? It's click left stick. Oh, you want to crouch? It's the B button. Oh, you want to crouch? It's left bumper. Oh, you want to crouch? It's start select A, B, A, B. Oh, nice. I just died. America. I'm not going to question. Oh. Nice. I'm going... I, every time I have a vision, I'm not going to question it. It's totally normal. <laughs> I'll question everything else. The visions? Nope. Not question. <laughs> They're meant to be weird. Robert Throgmorton! Oh, I read this. <laughs> I already read this, man. I was like a snake. I shed my own skin. I assume I'm at my hotel now. The game didn't make me walk all the way there. Which is kind of nice. I would have liked to have walked there personally, though. I, w I would have liked to have seen the city. I'm sure I will see plenty of it eventually, but yep, it put me in the hotel. Okay. Got it. I wonder why I crouch. All that we see or seem is just a dream within a dream. All right, Inception, chill. Charles W. Reed, who is now dead, so why would we listen to anything he had to say? Never again, they say. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know exactly what sank the USS Cyclops. Wait, what? This is my diary? Interesting. One second. I don't know why. Okay. I don't know what exactly sank the USS Cyclops. I only remember the screams and the mental creaking. Water filling the deck and my headache. The worst I've ever had. Oh, I was on this ship. I thought it was just a, a thing like, I don't know what sank the Titanic. It was weird. I wasn't there, but, you know, just I thought I contemplate that. I found myself among the floating seaweed, drowning. A nearby piece of boat helped me survive. And reached the shore of a small island. They found me on it later, starving, half-mad, and babbling about the ancient ruins and their denizens. The officials said none of what I thought I had seen was real. But my, my memories are true. My strange powers gained after that ordeal prove it. I found something horrible on that island. Something old and dark and slithering. It still haunts me. Oh, it, that's it. Dear Diary... I met a fish and an ape today. <laughs> yep, 
Yep, essentially. Oh, dude, it's Ladon! Yo, shout out to Amnesia! <laughs> no matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. Lao down? Da -da -da -dum. Whoa, I can. Wardrobe? That's unexpected. So we have. Wind coat. Gangsta. King's. Ro okay, I, I turned into Mr. What's his name? Vanderberg. Investig. Ooh, I don't think I have. I'm not going to get that. Man of science. Okay. Missing ships. This is all after you complete cases and stuff, I guess. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. That's weird. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Who did it? All right. Who did this? All right. Who decided that this was cute and that this needed to happen? I'm Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> Alright, that... <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That one's good. <laughs> it comes with tattoos and everything. And then that one, I guess. DLC! Unlocked by DLC! There's gonna be DLC for this game! Cool. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna change. Although, I, li I do like my backpack, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, we're gonna change. Win coat. Yeah! Look at that collar! <laughs> Look at how high that collar is! That says I'm a man of importance! Number of attacks on the Innsmouth immigrants has increased, and raids are intensifying with more and more Innsmouthers exposed to abuse and assault. Sometimes, whole families are found dead in their houses. Police are on the case with several illegal Innsmouther businesses captured and their owners sent to jail. The city ought to have been cleaned out of these fish-faced scum long ago, said Robert Throck Throckmorton, head of the Throckmorton grand family. I regret only one thing, it all started too late. Had we not neglected our civic duties, my son Albert would still be here with us. I wonder what that would say if I didn't turn him in. I kind of figured that was what was going to happen. I was just curious. Mr. Reed, it seems that you've overexerted yourself while conducting the investigation for Mr. Throgmorton. Forgive me for the audacity, but I brought you to the Devil's Reef while you were unconscious. Please, take more care of yourself in the future. I won't be there for you every time. Here's my hope. I'm hoping that me wearing this will stop people from calling me an outsider, but I doubt it. I think people will do that anyway. This collar is ridiculous. <laughs> I'll probably end up switching back to my normal clothes at some point, but for now. I look like... I look so dumb. I look so stiff. Like, it, this coat doesn't look like it fits at all. My shoulder... I look like I'm a s almost square-shaped man. <laughs> Makes this place feel more like home. I miss Boston already. Oh, wow, I have a nameplate? Oh, d I, d I, like, moved in? I've only been here for, like, what, three days? At the most? I don't know, maybe I've been here for a month, who knows. I boarded up the windows and locked the doors. They're just men, the Yellow King's gang. They can't get in here now. Now there's only me, me and these nightmares. A little longer, and I'll, I'll figure them out. I really just like that wind coat. Yeah, it looks really dumb. It looks like really dumb. <laughs> Mr. Archer, I've seen you dragging things into your room. Mind the floors, I'll make you pay for any scratches you leave, the landlord. The door won't but I may switch back to my other clothes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this coat is overly dumb. Plus how do I get rid of the backpack? You know? It's a freaking shovel backpack. Are any of these doors going to be open? Oh! That was fast. So the lighthouse is out, several ships have gotten lost at sea, and some are now decorating the city's beaches. That's one thing. 
Now there's an enterprising fellow at the city port hiring salvagers to recover ships. He's turning a tidy profit from selling them. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look into it. Now if only this city wasn't so impossible to navigate. You know, if this wasn't a video game, that would almost be the perfect, like, conspiracy theory thing. Huh. It seems that since the lighthouse went out, ships have been crashing more. And ever since they've been crashing more, somebody's been salvaging them and making money. Must be, must be sinister. Definitely not somebody who just saw an opportunity and jumped on it. Has to be sinister. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. There's nothing in here? Just a weird empty room with a gross painting? Alright. Oh, and this is the top floor. Okay. Do I have a reflection? Oh, kind of. Yeah. I actually kind of do. Finally, you're awake. Gotta tell you, though, mister. You want to stay on here? You stop making all that noise. What noise? Noise? What, what noise are you talking about? I expect my guests to be respectable. Moans, chanting, all that kind of thing. It stops, all right? I blame the French. You know, Ogre, I don't know what I expected, really. Ogre, welcome back. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I don't really remember what happened, but I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, well, next time it happens, you end up sleeping under the bridge like the other newcomers. You're not exactly friendly with your guests. Are we the ones keeping you in business? All these newcomers after the flood, they're stock raven mad. What do you mean? You can't imagine the crazy notes and books I find after they move out. Only thing they're good for is lighting the kitchen stove. Can I have a look? I knew it. I tell you no one sane would be interested. And you want to take a look? Well, fine, fine. Take what you wish. I blame the war for <laughs> Ogre, you've... I'm watching you, newcomer. You've been blamed. Darren! Dang it, Darren. Note about the hobo signs. I think I'm finally starting to figure this out. Locals use signs to mark special places that you already know. Kind of like the secret signs hobos use all over the country. What I learned is that the tradition states back to times well before the flood. I've been able to find out the meeting of some... The meaning of some of them. You've seen the crooked H shaped shines on the doors around town? That means the house is inhabited. The cross hatch grid marks hidden caches of useful item. V is for barricaded dangerous places. Good catch there, they say. Still haven't figured out the spiral shaped sign, though. You'll have to investigate for yourself. If you see a sign with a cross and three Ks, reach for the gun. Okay. okay. Whoa! I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Wow, I hate that. Oh my, I hate that. I know it's a crab. I know it's a crab. But boy, do I hate that. Wow, I hate that a lot. Okay. Number of attacks on the amount th uh, I read that already. Okay. Lighthouse is out. I read that. I've read that. Up. Oh. Read that. Read that. Read that. Okay. Oh, here's the letters from Oakmont. Wow, I didn't even notice that crab. I hate that. 
This city, no matter how badly the flood damaged it, has an unnatural appeal. I can't stop myself from walking, even if it means being struck by further visions. I meant, or I went to the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor, near the crossing of Fitz O'Callaghan Street and the old church road. It came. The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. I was a woman locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. My body turned into something. It itched badly in my face. I had to hold my skin with both hands to prevent it from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road crying until some inn's mother kicked me and ordered me away. Okay. The visions are testing me, playing with my mind. My old forgotten fears came to life. When I was small, I was afraid to stay alone, and I thought my parents would leave and never come back. Today, I went to the eastern streets of, Co of Coverside, and the visions came on the corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Street. I'm starting to think maybe I should go to these places and see if I get the visions as well. Um, I felt like I was alone, forgotten in a locked room, hungry and frightened. So scary to stay inside, but everything was so much worse behind the door. Something scratched in the corridor, and there were terrifying screams from outside. I couldn't run. I could not hide. I just waited for Mom to return. Isn't it called a spider crab? I don't want to know, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I'm afraid somebody stalks me. It started when I visited Western Advent and had a vision at the intersection of Purity Road and Oak Street. Yeah, I think these are locations. <laughs> I saw mirrors full of reflections and somebody trapped, trying in vain to escape. His expression of fear and panic shook me deeply, and after that, a very tall and skinny man started following me in the distance. What troubles me is that I see him in the reflections, but I've never caught a straight view of this stalker. Oh god, it's, it's that SCP. I don't remember what the designation is, but it's the SCP um, that when you're walking around in the game, you can always see it out of the corner of your eye, but when you turn, you don't see it, and it goes away. And it's always in the corner of your eye. It's super creepy. Uh, I'm sure the police will mock me if I come asking for protection. Seems it's time to buy a good, a trustworthy gun and start practicing. I was walking the Lumbert Street in Eastern Reed Heights when it happened again. It's not just a vision, but a noise. Hissing radio static, growing louder and louder. Voices from afar were lost in it, crying desperately. I tried not to show how bad it was. I was afraid to reveal it to the locals. The images came after I passed Bullock Street towards Helig Street. The hissing flooded my mind, and I saw a man surrounded by radios talking to them. He was dying. I felt it. When it happened, the vision was gone. Oh, yeah. They're called spider crabs, and their legs span. Their leg span can be up to 18 feet. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Ugh, I don't like that at all. Tonight, the air forced me to leave the hotel. The putrid smell of rotting seaweed and fish made it hard to breathe. I remembered a huge apple tree and thought it might be nicer there. Moreover, I was afraid the hotel owner would see my seizures. The visions occurred when I was a few blocks from the apple tree, walking E. Brown Street and Central Shells. I felt like I was drowning. I ran forward when I passed the street of St. Michael's Church. I felt the water surrounding me, pressing, calling. I needed all my will to fight the desire. Desire to go to the mayor and sink into its depths. No matter how different my visions may be, they are always so frightening. Today it was man. Yep, I read that right. Today it was man. He left a house in Southern Old Grove on Warwick Street, somewhere between Seaside and Hillside Streets. Our eyes met and I immediately felt the burning uh, exaltation, a wild torrent of emotion. I saw him among the monstrosities, touching them, embracing, kissing. The vision was so intense I bent in two and threw up all my breakfast. He walked past saying something like, cursed newcomers, and I prayed he wouldn't stop to help. Even now, when I close my eyes, I see the creatures around this man. Now you know why the map has street names. I'm afraid of the bathroom and kitchen sink. Each time I went to wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they'll talk to me? This began after a vision in Western Reed Heights near the crossing of Ivan 
Ivan Ward in Baker Streets. I saw a man, naked and covered in blood, in a room without doors and windows. Surrounded by dark holes of pipes, he was cutting himself, piece by piece feeding those copper mouths. They were whispering with voices so sweet and promising but full of hunger and hatred. How could he believe them? Could he even escape? And had they noticed me? BRB, no worries, Estonian. You do what you gotta do, man. You're here just cooking. Ogre, you cook all you want, man. I can't help but turn around at any noise. After what I saw yesterday, I walked down the Murdoch Avenue in Western Advent and near Oak Street I was hit with an excruciating migraine. My nose started to bleed and the visions came. I saw one man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind. Somehow I was both the spectator and the sitting man, but no matter how I cried out warnings or tried to move, it didn't work. Seems I lost consciousness when the killer hit the man's head and it took me several hours to get back to the hotel after. Oh, one second, I'm going to adjust how I'm sitting. After this vision, I shake in fear at the sound of a child's cry. It happened in Western Reed Heights on Washington Street. I passed Ebon Street and was heading towards Oak Street, but I saw it. The thing was running so fast I didn't understand what it was. It jumped from the window and the vision struck me immediately. I saw a man, a doctor, hiding in the room. He was writing something with a shaking hand, something like a last will. Then I saw the thing stalking him, a fetus on thin pointy legs with a little face full of evil and hatred. It's shrieking. I can't forget it. What is this one? Why is it different? The hotel owner allowed me to look through the weird notes he found in the rooms of disappeared newcomers. Among them, I found several pages from the diary of a man describing his life in Oakmount. He suffered from visions and marked the places where they happened. Was he trying to avoid them? Oh, okay. That was just the overview. Today, I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my vision somehow because I felt the same nausea and headache as before they strike. It happened in Coverside, near the corner of Tanner Street and the old church road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whispering something. Immediately after I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle nobody stole anything from me. The local Innsmouthers scare me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me even in visions. Recently I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whispering Street. Or Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue when the visions came. I stood among many Inns Mouthers, disguised as one of them, listening. Their leader read the story of a captain participating in pagan rites, copulating with savage witches and beasts and bringing sacrifices. I still remember his name. Obed. Obed? Are those on my map now? That would be cool. No? Okay. So... There's Old Church Road. That's one of the ones from the Vision. Um, there's Hubert. There's Whisper. Huh. I'd like to go to like one of. The, I'd like to go to one of these places. Uh, let's see. Old Church Road in Fitz O'Callaghan. Old Church Road. Where's Fitz O'Callaghan? Oh, wow. Old Church Road goes... A ways. Wow. Old Church Road goes a long way. Okay. Uh, um, let's try Hubert. I think Hubert was one of them as well. What is Ogre cooking? I think Hubert was one of them. Purity in Oak Street. Lombard, E. Brown Street, Wh 
Warwick. Reed Heights, Crossing of Ibn, Warden Baker, Murdoch Avenue, Oak Street, oh, here we go, walking down Whispering Street. I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert. Or Whisper Street, not Whispering. So, here ish, I guess. Yeah. Somewhere like here. That's not far. Really? Oh, hey. I have. Oh, these. Here it is. Sure. <laughs> Steak and chips, very nice. New fast travel point. Okay, that's pretty cool. Infested area. Oh, that's not great. Can I sw- Okay, I can. I was curious about that. Hope so. Since, you know, some of the streets are flooded, I was like, I wonder if I can swim. Whoa! Oh. Ow. All right, chill. Oh God, I'm about to, I'm about to die. <laughs> I thought I could handle it. Oh! I thought I could handle that. I could not. Wow. That, that did not go well. Wow, I did not handle that at all. Thought I could. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't really want to use my bullets. Bullets seem to be overly valuable. Like, I really don't want to shoot my money away, essentially. That went as good as my first attempt. So, danger, huh? Infested, okay. So what am I supposed to be, like, doing? Oh shoot, okay. Here's all of them. But what about what was the other thing? Like I'm supposed to be doing something else. Lost at sea. We'll be waiting for my report. The expedition is located in North Corverside at Asher and Hubert. Okay, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, my marker is still there. That's pretty sweet. That's actually really cool. Um, yeah, I think I have to swim, no matter what. I could use that, but I, I'll, I'll pass, I guess. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Can I talk to you? No. 
about you? You're like on a stage talking to people, but you're not actually saying anything. Also, I have 561 XP out of a thousand. Oh, there's more. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. Let's look at some of this. Set traps twice as quickly. Traps hold enemies in place for longer. Sharpened teeth on traps penetrate deeper. Damage increased by 100%. He is a mime. Grenades and firebombs have increased range. Grenades and firebombs are more destructive. Keep an extra bullet loaded, gaining a chance to deal double damage. Oh. Reload faster. Improve coordination, gaining a chance to deal double damage. Higher proficiency with, whoop, with a battle rifle. Damage increased. That seems... These seem good. Hone your eye, gaining a chance to deal double damage with the battle rifle. Load two additional shells in the shoddy. Clean the streets with wider shotgun spread. Submachine gun, submachine gun. Whoops. This definitely reminds you of the last time you went to <laughs> went to Paris. Carry seven more pistol rounds. That seems nice. Carry one more med first aid kit and antipsychotic. One more grenade and firebomb. Three more round rifle rounds. Ten more sub machine gun rounds. Revolver, shotgun, vitality. When close to death, slowly regenerate a limited amount of health for one last fighting chance. Vitality, vitality. Falling from heights deals half the damage. Man-eating eels deal half the damage to you. Oh, man-eating eels, huh? That's just casually in there, like, you know, hey, man-eating eels. Like, you know, every game has that. Melee attacks deal slightly. That I want. Yeah, I'd like to increase melee damage. That would be wonderful. 25 pieces of any crafting material. I can craft. 15% chance to save materials in crafting. That's kind of cool. 10% chance to save. 15% chance to save. 15% chance to save. Remain sane for longer than any ordinary human. Sandy for much longer. Earn more XP and stay sane for slightly longer. Oh, earn more XP? Yeah. What? Yeah, that's what I want. Yeah. Earn more XP. <laughs> I'm sorry. Earning more XP will help me level faster. I don't see why I would pick anything else. Double the quest reward items earned. 50% to double quest reward items. Gain more XP from all sources. Gain even more XP. Yeah, I'm going to get the XP thing. Leveling faster seems like the better idea, you know? <laughs> Medding eels? Yep, it's Paris. I went down that XP tree so fast. That's absolutely what I'm gonna do, man. Yeah, that's that's like, I don't know why you would do anything else. It would be inefficient to do anything else. Don't do that again. Leveling faster is gonna be the best way to do it. Yeah, who doesn't want more XP? Exactly. I love it when games have something like that. Like, you would now earn more XP. Oh, uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna get, thanks. Is this the headquarters? Aha! Anything weird going on in here? Probably. Oh, dude, nice. Somebody kicked the door. Guess I don't need the key. Dang, somebody really kicked that door hard. Right off the hinges. I hear that. Can I have that power in your DND? Uh, no. <laughs> there is no EXP quickenings. 
Divers with the bends can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing. And <laughs> oh, so sorry. I include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. Paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. Dangers of diving. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Ow. Wow, okay. Oh. Hello? Interesting. If you pay four ninety nine to Pobs, you get a permanent XP boost. That is not true. <laughs> but you could, you know. Oh, dude, is that a... Oh, I thought that was a mine. Oh, it might actually be. That might be a mine. I'm sorry, guys. I did not sleep well last night. Apologies for all the yawning. That was two nights in a row. Saturday night, I didn't. I stayed up late because I couldn't sleep because I was so excited to start D and D. I just stayed up a little bit longer, and I didn't really sleep well last night. So I'm a little tired, but it's all good. Everybody gets tired. Everybody poops. Whoa, hello. Are these those man-eating eels I've heard so much about? Ogre! <laughs> Ogre, thank you for the 400 biddies. Thank you so, so much. Estonian, lend me the 99. Ogre, thank you so much for the biddies. I appreciate it. I do not have... Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Interesting. Dang it! According to our data, the places the paranormal activities have strong, previously unidentified influence over the human mind. Or the places with, not where. Uh, we have prepared a list of solutions, including meditative practices and supply of sedatives to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all those chairs. Armlets and religious artifacts, or charms, chairs, charms, a amulets, religious symbols, which are of no use, and applying these scientific valid methods of protection instead. H. Doe. A deer. A female deer. Why are there always holes in the floor? Why? What makes that happen? These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. Or where they're going. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. Interesting. Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its ranks. Professor Harriet Dower, Brilliance Discoveries. Dow! about the origins of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history books of humanity. Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood and in doing so shed light on what may yet to be, may yet to come. Floor holes were the old timey AC, man-eating termites. Focal use spell checker. Oh, it's a little boat. I really don't know how this game works yet. I keep waiting for like somebody to appear behind me, but it hasn't happened yet. I really like to feed the eels, but I can't. I 
Can't say I ever saw another shell like it. Okay. This isn't something I can interact with? Yeah, no. It's gotta be something. Also, those eels are still alive. So... Somebody had to be here recently, right? L. Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fishermen, report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. Brought a sample of a weird substance floating in the ocean from J. Harway. He claims he found it among numerous dead and strangely deformed fish, and the fish were taken for analysis. Several locals mentioned a rock that rose from the seabed and making the fog shine in different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. L.P. Stern got severe burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement, and samples were taken for analysis. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. I thought maybe I could see the erased thing in in weird vision. I'm not gonna lie, I keep hitting Y to get out of that, and that's not the button. Like it I wanna detective vision it, but that's just not the button. I know the Raven. I, I get the Raven. Hello. Huh. I've bent reality to my will. Hello, boat. In the ceiling. Odd. I'm gonna get out of weird vision and look around, and then I'll go into weird vision and look around. Okay, it's a shower. Nah. Oh, hey! What the heck, dude? Ow! Knock it off! Could I have done anything about this guy besides beat him up? Anything I can do with him? No? Also, I need a med kit. How do I use this? Crap, how do I use this? You could use them to keep out drafts. That's how you do it. Okay, that's a little odd. But acceptable, I guess. My weapon wheel is going to get cluttered. Also, I haven't figured out how to craft yet. I'm sure I'll figure that out at some point. Alright, not what I needed. Miscellaneous. Oh, here we go. I just needed to scroll over. Shh, ignore me. Following must be delivered. Grimhaven Bay, no later than Friday. MKV diving suit six, air tanks and pumps four, canned food eighteen, personal belongings six with research equipment seven, crates do not. Air pipes twenty four, phone stations and wires, power generator responsible for delivery. Okay. 
This random dude down here, he shot me, man. Guess this helmet's beyond repair. Hey, what's up, Avalanche? How you doing? How's it going, man? Dang, Hawaiian guy is in super lurk today. Wow. Hawaiian guy is taking the lurk king title. All right, crow. What you got for me? Oh, wait, what? Oh. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. Okay. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Okay, so that, I think, is clearly number one. to figure this out. Sorry about that, just a bunch of stuff I need to get. Oh, Hawaiian guy, you don't have to apologize, dude. Ain't no need to apologize, man. It's all good. So we have one. I think that's pretty obvious. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Two. Drop the papers. Smash the rest. Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's up, man? All evidence collected. Nice. Mine Palace! The cargo from the expedition was taken to the Bay Pipe, the Grand Pipe. Blah, 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 blah. Expedition headquarters was vandalized and they burned all the expedition archives, even the newspapers. Cargo from the expedition was taken to the Grimhaven Bay Pier. Expedition archives lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. They left the city on a freighter from Griphaven Bay. They might be recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Chronicle. Okay. Okay. If we're going to tell everybody this is a 100% run, no, not at all. This? No, definitely not. Okay, so we've got... Delivered in Grimheaven Bay. Find the needed newspaper article. Newspaper advertisement. Grimhaven Bay. Where's Grimhaven Bay? Oh, this big area is Grimhaven Bay. Good. Can I fast travel here? I can only fast travel back to the, the inn, right? My lord, please. How would I fast travel? And they burned all the newspapers, so I'm probably done here. 
are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition. Yeah, there's probably nothing here. I probably need to find that newspaper elsewhere. Also, that dude really hurt me. Wow, that guy shot the crap out of me. Alright. Somewhere in Grimhaven Bay. Somewhere in Grimhaven Bay, huh? It's a lot. It's a big... Big place to be searching. Burn newspapers. Find the needed newspaper advertisement. Yeah, is that here? I really don't think it is, but I guess bef I'm here, right? Before I leave, let me just make doubly sure that the newspaper is not here. That's not Someone what I meant. Someone smashed it beyond repair. I don't want to have to come back here for this newspaper, so let me make sure it's not here. Like, it's not in here, right? Yeah, it's not. At least it doesn't appear to be. Alright. That's the helmet. Okay. Guess I'm heading to the bay and leaving that dude there because I beat him up. Which way to the bay? <laughs> Crap. Um, I just need a marker. Mystery. If that doesn't show up on my map. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Dang it. Um. Sure. All right, to Grimhaven Bay. Hello. Somewhere in Grimhaven Bay, we have a list of cargo. We'll just have to look through the entire bay, I guess. Well, am I getting close? Oh, I'm about to literally run through the infestation. Although, what does the boat do? Let's see what the boat does. Or if it's just something I'm doing. Oh. Yep, it's just something I'm doing. This is very odd, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. <laughs> a little weird. Wait, 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 wait. That's literally the exact thing I walked through and died before. Maybe I could quickly get through? You know, maybe I could book it and I don't have to fight or deal with them at all. Oh, okay. There's a lot more than I thought there was. I'm gonna just throw that out there. How hard could it be? <laughs> well, I lived, but uh, I definitely took a little bit of punishment.
Oh, I grounded that a little bit. Oh, I didn't make a med kit. Might need to do that. Hello. Are you a private eye like me? You have a backpack. Somewhere in Grimhaven Bay, huh? I, I imagine it's the port. You're like... That makes the most sense to me. Excuse me. Makes the most sense to me. Grimhaven Bay Central. Cool. Oh, it's a fast travel location. Cool. Oh, you have to fast travel from fast travel points. Oh, you can't just fast travel anywhere at any time. Okay. You. You're the man who handled the problems in the port. Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Want to make something on the side? Sh sure. You pay, I work. What's the job? Ah, a fellow businessman. I'm Vincent, but you can call me Vince. First task is to find the ship's log for the pride. Charles Reed. A few questions, if I may. Sure, sure. Is this the... Is this the ship I'm already looking for? What can you tell me about the pride? I'm gonna need somewhere to start. Mostly rumors. The captain was an exemplary patriot. Always had a flag with him. His last shipment may have been chemicals and metal barrels. It could be resting on the seabed a thousand miles away. What makes you think it can be found? I wouldn't waste my money on you unless I had hope. Local drunkards say they saw the barge on the sunken road near the fish market. Good. I'll check the place and bring you the pride's ship log if it's still there. Okay. Why are you looking for a ship log? Maybe I'll tell you when the job is done. Right now, you don't need to know. In my line of work, you don't get far without appreciating the need for privacy. I understand. Oh, I thought he was going to say in my line of work, <laughs> you need to know. But nope, he went the total opposite direction of that. See you later. All right, guys, real quick, we're going to take a restroom break. Uh, if you guys need to go to the restroom, get a drink, any of that, do it now. I'll be back. Uh, BRB.
Okay. Plot twist Pobs old all this in the past and has not come back to get everybody's money to solve these crimes. Has now come back. Bird noises. Dinner lurk. Enjoy. <laughs> Stop tangling my cords. That would be lovely. <laughs> Sorry, one second. My cords are just atrociously a mess. I'm like having a really, I'm really struggling here, guys. Okay. Okay. You know, I probably should have put the event list in the top left. Oh well. I'll remember for next time, I guess. This game is a top left event list game. Okay. Uh, is that thing on my no it's not the thing he just gave me isn't on my map really odd okay Odd. Okay. Ran into a fence. There's got to be like a... Harbor master, right? What? Okay. Uh, there's got to be like a harbor master, right? I would imagine there is. Are all these dudes back home? The door won't budge. Okay. Whoa, what is that? What is that? Judging up from the skyline. Excuse me, sir. Is there a harbor master nearby? Good, good talking to you. What? It's gotta be like a harbor master, or at least, if not a harbor master, then like a like a central organization. I guess maybe not. <laughs> This is a big area, like, to be searching for a specific piece of paper. Especially because I don't, the bit, like, it doesn't tell me what these buildings are on the map. They're just buildings. Huh. Those are the customer. Did Pobs find my comment funny? Would it come back and collect the money? <laughs> yeah, it was it was a good one. Oh look at this tiny house, dude. Somebody lives there. I doubt it's the warehouse.
Well, aren't you funny, Hawaiian guy? No, that, that, what? That's, now you're confusing different people with each other. <laughs> Maybe... <sighs> Let's go here. Let's go to the newspaper. Instead. Because I need to find a newspaper, right? What better way to do that than at the newspaper? I guess. What's up, dude? Uh, not funny as much as just a jerk or a dick. Oh. And in Charlotte or not around, I don't have to be nice. Well, no, you don't have to be nice, but it's always nice to be nice to people. You should always be nice, says the nice Estonian. Oh, I guess I could cut through here. Oh yeah, it cuts out the other. I thought this was going to trap me in a courtyard. Nice way to put it, it's nice to be nice. Cool. Can I talk to you, Mr. Fishman? No. Alright. It's nice. Yo, this boat, though, am I right? Hello, floating house. I, you know, it's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Dude's just got himself a floating house. So I just need to go straight. Okay. You know what I do wish? I wish this game had a mini-map. A mini-map would do wonders, I think. The game, like, froze for a second. Hello, uh, newspaper, gazette, magazine, whatever you are. Oh, I got a cutscene out of this. Mini map and double jump. Double jump I haven't seen yet, but I could see how that would be useful. But definitely mini map. Because I keep having to open it just to check where I am. Also, um, like just a normal marker would be lovely because you have to like, oh, marker, what, what marker, which one of these markers do you want? Which is a cool feature. Not gonna lie. Cool feature. But I wish there was just like an all purpose one that you could stick on things. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? What? Yeah. What's yeah. What? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warmth. Oh. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. 
And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Uh-oh. Say, can you do me a favor? Uh-oh, word is spread Give about that. exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Uh-oh. When I go and talk to Innsmouthers, they're going to know who I am. That's not good. Do you still want that interview? I uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. That's we know good. that you're the private eye who solved the case, but tell our reader something more about yourself. I served in the Navy? I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Uh, Cthulhu and Nice Estonian who bought the game for me. Well, he didn't buy it for me. He bought it for himself. I just happened to reap the benefit. <laughs> Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but we were much more concerned with the flood. Though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Throgmorton! Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. Okay. Oh. See you later. I got an achievement for that. Stay safe. Cool. Wait, you didn't give me the freaking... You didn't give me a paper. Stay safe. Did she give... She didn't give me a paper. <laughs> oh, or did she? I checked out USS Cyclops on Wiki today, and apparently it was a real ship that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle with its 300 crew members. Oh, dang. Oh, dang, dude. Uh, you will often need to look for useful information with various city archives. Archives contain topical information. For example, City Hall holds general data about citizens and organizations, while info about specific category of people like criminals or patients can be found in hospitals or police records. In the casebook, evidence may have a, a hint icon indicating you need to do some archive research. In the archive interface, select the piece of evidence you wish to investigate and choose three archive or three criteria to search for relevant information. Search conducted with the correct evidence and criteria will result in new information being added to the casebook. Okay, that's confusing. I'm sure it will make sense once I do it, but that explanation was confusing. Expedition Archive is lost, but I have clues to follow up. They left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven. They might be in recent postings or ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. Several men within Mount Syndrome broke into the expedition headquarters and destroyed everything. They burned most of the expedition archives, science research, interviews, freight, and cargo manifests, even clippings of newspapers. Oh, that's the thing I found earlier. Man called Vincent wants to hire me to find a ship log. He's waiting near the entrances. Uh, Moreland Road, near the intersection with Old Colony Street. Okay. Keep that in mind. Um... Uh, just, uh, Kurt, Kurt, God, uh, uh, current events. Select three criterias. Advertisements. Within Grimhaven.
What would be the third one? Expedition headquarters, scientific research, interviews with locals. I guess. Is that a thing? Interviews? Yeah, articles and interviews. Oh, I can only pick one. Oh, okay. Um. Commoners? No information. Okay. Journalists. Officials. Ah. Uh. This is weird. Um, yeah, so I want they left the city on there might be postings about ads about the freighter and oh, the Oakmount Chronicle. Grimhaven Bay. Those two seem obvious to me. I mean, maybe I'm dumb, but like Grimhaven and advertisements seem like. Oh. Wait, did I not do that? I must have switched advertisements around. The 30 ton ship Titania. Oh, no wonder you sunk. Your ship was like one letter away from Titanic. Is currently available for hire. You will find it fully equipped for transport as well as the aiding of underwater ventures and exploration. For the price of 70 rifle bullets or the equivalent thereof per week. Those interested are urged to contact Captain Jeremiah Sanders for contacting for contracting details. He can be found at Pier 3, Oakmount Port, Grim Haven Bay. Pier 3. Find the needed newspaper advertised? Did I not just find it? Can I find it again or? No, okay. Uh, okay, I think I did it. Ta okay, here we go. Pier three, okay. <coughs> Which one's pier three? Oh, they're numbered. I didn't know that. Oh, that's Peter 3. Okay. I was on the right track. I just was ahead of myself. Uh-oh. Game froze? Okay, there we go. Peer 3. Sure. It really doesn't matter what marker I put. I just need to put a mark. Also, I can get rid of the key. What the heck? Where's the boat? I parked the boat here. All right. I guess I didn't. Oh, the boat is over there. I bet I could get to it. I'm stuck on the sign. Shout out to those man-eating eels. Oh yeah, I was so I was on the right track. I just got ahead of myself.
I was trying my hardest not to yell at yell out that you have to go to the Chronicles. I figured it out. We're good. It just it made sense to go straight to the dock, you know? I'm looking for something at the dock. Go into the dock. Sure, this works. Okay. People are freaking out every once in a while. There's not a- oh, there is a run button! I'm not gonna lie, I held B, click the stick, tumble tap the stick forward, uh, held A. I did not try and hold right trigger. That was the, like, one button I didn't try <laughs> to run. That guy has a voice. I could have been that guy. Oh, I gotta go back. Fresh fish, fresh fish. Just caught, mister. Ugh. I don't know what the thing on the right was. Trust me, I'm not gonna backseat, I can contain myself. Can take, can't be tamed. All right, pier three is... The far one. The one I came in on? How does this sound good? Thank K. At last. Hey, hey, help. Help. What's going on? What's sea creatures going on? Swarmed over the piers. I hid here. But these walls won't stand up to them. Please help me. Okay. Are you Saunders? I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. Oh, all right. The mayor's curse these days. Okay, combat. If you are crouched, hostiles are likely to detect you. Oh, uh, enemies may harm your sanity as well as your health. Oh. <laughs> Some enemies have unique abilities that may come as an unpleasant surprise, but also have weak points. Ammo and supplies are scarce. Scavenging, crafting, quest rewards are the only source of supplies. Uh... Guns are not going to reload themselves. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't want to waste my bullets. Have I been getting it? Oh, I haven't been getting XP. Okay. <laughs> Clear the port. Cleanse the port of creatures. Okay. Hello! It fell in the water. Is it dead? <laughs> Yo, come at me, dude. Oh, he dodged me! Oh, wow, he lived through more than one melee. This guy's playing me for a fool. There we go. <laughs> the harbor has been... Yep, that other one died. <laughs> oh, wait. They emptied every chamber. Oh, still stinks of burnt powder. The other one died and fell in the water. <laughs> Shot dead. Point blank. Nice. Hey, what's up, dude? That was weird. I'm back. Welcome back, man. 
food was good, steak was disappointing. That's upsetting. That, that is horrible. Uh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. Interesting. Oh, my sanity. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Better steak next time. There was too much sinew. It was filet, sadly. Next up is Wagyu. Man, that was, uh, that was crazy. <laughs> My sanity got low. Also, this is the Titanic. Or the Titania. Or I'm sorry, it was Fillet. Alright, I need to craft a... Uh, I need to craft... A thing. A med kit. Oh dang, you really have to commit to using that. Wow, you really need to commit to using that. I've dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. Excuse me. Miss Sanders, what kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. Seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. Come. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. Oh, I don't get to ask about the ship? Ah, oh, that's my bad. Days. That's my fault. I thought it would still let me talk about the ship. Nice. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. Oh, dude, that? I mean, there's weirder things in museums. Captain Jeremiah Sanders hereby agree to take on board my vessel Titania. Any persons designated by Robert Thor Throg Morton? And the cargo detailed in the attached manifest. Throgmorton, man, it's just, I don't know why. It just sounds funny every time I hear it. As well as to provide them with any and all necessary assistance up to and including depth measurements. As well as diving support for underwater exploration and marine life observations. Aforementioned services will take place in the confidential locations in Cod Bay. And afterwards, the Titania will provide transport for all passengers to the Oakmount Port. Compensation will be 70 bullets. Cool. Cape Cod. Really? This is the same exact erased. map as the other one? Something was erased on that too. Oh, it's that same woman! Who is that woman? That's the same woman from my boat when I got in. I'm gonna name my <laughs> I'm gonna name my next cat Throg Morton. They were in high spirits. And plenty of them were drinking. Throg Morton. I don't know why. I guess it's the Throg part of the name. It just sounds so dumb. Oh, nice. I accept this reality. <sighs> you can't take me. Eat this! Okay. To the 
the mare with you. Ugh. Die, die. Okay. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rough. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. I mean... This seems like one. No more drink. All we've seen. And Two. you telling me we ain't allowed rough. To the mare with you. Ugh. Die. Die. Ugh. You can't take me. Eat this. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. That man was Throgmorton. I mean, Captain. Yo, what's up, dude? I saw you earlier. You're still hanging out? So if I look at this guy, does it freak me out again? You gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. No? I guess I was just losing my sanity rather quickly. All right, Mind Palace, let's talk. Uh, Sanders has fled, yes. The expedition was added, yep. Sail is undetected, but one, all but one were killed. The survivor has a deep wound. Sanders fled. Harbor Master saw Captain Sanders leaving the pier. The only survivor of the fight on the third pier of the Grimhaven Bay was a man badly wounded in the shoulder. Captain Sanders is the wounded man now seeking medical aid. Cool. I didn't think that would go together. I just was like, yeah, why not? Uh, so he would go to what? The hospital, I guess? I mean, right? Anything else? The mayor's curse these days. Okay. Go there. Hospital of St. Mary. Oh, that makes sense to me. That makes almost too much sense. Which means it's not going to make sense at all. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm going to reach this hospital and it's going to be like, nope. Uh, hey, to dude, I'm, I'm totally looking for your ship, I promise. Definitely looking for your ship. This is not exactly what I want. I actually want to go around this. Morton. I'm gonna head to bed and gonna get some rest. Have fun with the game if you're having fun at all. Yo, Estodian, you have a wonderful rest of your night, dude. Stay awesome, man. Thanks for hanging out. I'm I'm having fun with it, honestly. It's a bit odd, but I can deal with that. Do I wanna go straight? I'm gonna go straight. This is, I think this is definitely one of, one of those, like, slower paced kind of streams. Slower paced games and streams. Again, I feel like this makes too much sense. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, he needs medical attention, huh? Hospital. And I'm gonna get to the hospital and they're gonna be like, who would even come here for medical attention? What are you even on about? I'm like, alright. Whoa! Okay. They were just throwing down. Uh, so I need to just go... 
straight up, basically. Also here later all have a great stream pops. Yo, Hawaiian guy, stay awesome, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude. All right, let's get up to the north here. I think I'm going to have to take another water or another boat at some point, but for now, we're good. And I need to get off. I just need to go straight. Yeah. Shout out to those man-eating eels. That the game mentioned earlier. We will see them eventually, I think. Alright, I, I need to go this way. Eventually, I think they will... Uh, I'll hit some more water. Oh, shoot! Somebody just got shot. I got stuck on a tree. So, yeah, I need to cross. Yeah, I just need to go straight across. Straight, straight across. Yo, Cthulhu, show yourself. I know you're here, man. Make it happen, show yourself. And we should be good. We should make it all the way to the hospital from here. Your car doesn't seem like it works anymore, dude. I may need to... Nope, I need to go straight. Need to go straight. Hello. Cheaper than the rest. I can't talk to you either. All right. Cutscene. Hi, I'm looking for an injured Captain Sanders. Have you heard of him? No. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I can tell. Patient or Whoa. visitor. Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant get. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The what? Uh, yeah. The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, Fascinating? I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that... All of us are infected by Helmut. What's happening with his hand right now? Headaches could indicate that <laughs> they have infested your brain. <laughs> That's news to me, Doc. What's happening you sound with serious. Mm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental Do you see medical. what is going on? Does anybody see this? No, I'm, I'm good. I think I'll pass, Doc. I played lab rat in an asylum in Boston. Can't say it did a damn thing for me. No. Oh, what a pity. It seems as though your brain is already too damaged by the Helminth for rational thought. Why is that guy monochrome? Why is a newspaper stuck in his finger? <laughs> Yo, is there any, uh, is there something I can help you with? It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? A bit. Shh. I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One Look concerns the multi-handed creatures, <laughs> and the other the vomiting humanoids. Multi-handed creatures, huh? Nice newspaper, dude. Oops. One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. 
Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem <laughs> almost human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Um, any patients with Axwood? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Oh, shoulder wound. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. Yes, it does. Bye. This guy was almost zero help at all. He was literally almost no help at all. Uh, okay, where do I find your... Mm, where do I find your records? Oh, here? Gotcha, gotcha. So, I got a patient. Surgery, maybe? From Grimhaven Bay. Surgery? Would he need surgery? Morgue. Ah. Therapy? I don't... I mean, like... Patient. Oh, maybe I have to be on this, and then it will match it to this. Maybe that's what happened last time. Surgery. There you go. Peter Crowley M. Oak, Monter, multiple burns and fragmentation wounds to the chest and a face as a result of explosion, several surgeries, wounded treatment, facial expression, facial surgery, prognosis good, uh, bed rest recommended. Joseph Willow M. 39, newcomer, deep cut to left shoulder. Broken collarbone, fractured scapula wounds stitched, fractured set and bandages, no trace of infection. Prognosis good, bed rest recommended. So, no? He's not here? Is he dead? He's not dead. But neither one of those were him, unless he's using a fake name, and then... Um... In that case... This gets a little bit more complicated, I guess? How do I do the stupid... There you go. <laughs> I guess maybe he's using a fake name. Uh, and then upstairs were patients. Surgery, storage, patient wards. Okay. No surgery required, right? That's not him. What happened to you, mister? Pete, explosion. Fishing with dynamite. Oh. oh hurts talking. Well then. Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship. I'm sure. Oh, please leave. Okay. Bye. What about you? Nope. So that was Crowley. And now I'm looking for Willow. Oh. Yeesh. What happened to your shoulder? Uh, some psycho in a bar brawl. Gun came out. He. Clip me good in the shoulder. Something I can help you I'm with? I'm pretty sure this is Captain I'm Sanders. I'm just looking for someone. Uh, Captain Sanders. Captain Sanders? Never heard of him. I'm Joseph Willow. You, you should probably look somewhere else. That's funny. 
The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Hm. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Uh, I'm investigating the expedition. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. So what happened? What happened? I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. They'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew. None of them deserved what happened to them. Albert survived? What happened during the final die? What were you looking for? What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really? We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. Were they Cthulhu shaped? Why were you guys drinking? I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. What happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Albert survived. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. Whoa. Really? You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was hmm. an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. What happened? Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. Divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. That sucks. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert, but all were half mad with fear. Where was it? Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. I mean, I can get proper equipment, I guess. Do I, where can I get a diving suit or I want the ship's log? Diving suit! Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Log! Okay, cool. Where's the log book from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Okay. Get better soon. Okay. Cool. New mine palace cube. Clue. Clue. Cube. 
The crazy crew. They went mad and started a massacre and started a massacre at the port as a result. Cool. Um. Ship's log may be somewhere around the surgery ward. Ow. Okay. Let's, let's go do that. That was downstairs, right? Sir, yeah. Hello, I'm looking for a ship log. If you could help me, that'd be lovely. There's gonna be like one of those monsters down here, huh? Oh, hello. Accident place, crew complaining of noise and no sleep, fish behaving strangely, reach the crew reporting hallucinations, distributed rum, hopefully it will distract them. Found an air pocket in the caverns near the devil's teeth, close to the city. Scientists discovered walls, ancient walls, and asked for crates with tools. Sent Tate and Myers down to investigate after surfacing deadline passed. Tate and Myers returned with only Albert Throgmorton, who is now completely unhinged. His madness is disturbing and unsettling. The crew dragged Albert to a lifeboat and tried to stop them, resulted in mutiny. There you go. Devil's teeth. All evidence collected. Nice. Anything else I can sort of scavenge around? I'm really hesitant to fight, like, with my gun. Because I don't know how much, how many resources this game has. And if it's, if I can't replenish my resources without collecting things, I'm a, I'm a little hesitant to go around guns a blazing. Nope, that's not right. Okay. Factory, let's see. Ship's log with only a few notes remaining. Okay. That doesn't really help me. They was made near Devil's Teeth. The coordinates are marked on the map. Uh, factory in West Grimhaven Bay on C. Smith Ave between Levy Cough Ave and Deep Shore Road. Okay. West Grimhaven Bay. Which is... Uh, down here. And C. Smith Ave. It's right there. Levy Coffin and Deep Shore. Here's Levy Coffin. So somewhere in here? Or somewhere right here? Sure. Can I get in here? Oh, this is just another way in. Okay. Got it. Oh, wait, I need to unmark the hospital. All right, we got a long walk ahead of us. Going all the way down here, trying to get to this factory to get a diving suit. That way we can dive and we'll go into the creepy, wherever they went, the devil's teeth or whatever. Uh, yeah. Let's see how this goes, I guess. Boat! Alright, where am I going? How far can I take this? I can take this pretty far. If I go... Down into the right and then left 
Yeah, hang on. So I go this way. And then I'm going to take a left. Right here? Yeah, take a left. And take another left. I'm really surprised. Like, it's cool that the city is this big and whatnot, but I'm really surprised they decided to make the map this big. I feel like they didn't have to. Then take a right and then just go straight. Bumped into that car, but we're good. Then I should just be able to go all the way till I hit land. And we should be fine. Then from here, I I guess I just go straight. C. Smith Ave. It's on C. Smith Ave between Levy Coffin and Deep Shore. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's on C. Smith Ave between Levy Coffin and Deep Shore. Well, here's Levy Coffin. So it's like here. So it's like it's almost on the water, essentially. Or it is on the water. The city is massive. I'm liking the atmosphere. Oh, I really like the atmosphere. I think the atmosphere is really cool. I like the creepy, gothic, Cthulian atmosphere. I'm interested to see how this ends up being like I plan on beating this and like playing through the whole thing fresh fish, fresh fish. Just caught, mister. is there gonna be like a twist at some point or is it just gonna be that everybody doesn't know what's going on and it's just Cthulhu because we know because it's a Cthulhu game <laughs> Are there multiple endings? Like, I don't know. Oh, I guess this. This right here. Oh, hello. Why, though? Knock that off. Oh, there's another one. Okay, we're good. Those ones I can fight. Oh, wow, they dissolve. I didn't know that. Those ones I can fight with the melee. Pretty okayly. The bigger ones I have more of an issue with, obviously. Oh, it's dissolving. Also, getting a better um, melee attack, I think, is definitely priority. After I finish up getting uh, more XP. Gain more experience. Yep. Even more XP.
This looks like a working this diving suit. Hold air for a minute. Okay, never mind. I'll defer to him. He was a Navy diver. He probably knows what he's talking about. This doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. About this one. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit. Okay. Listen, you're the diving expert. I totally defer to you. Also, another gigantic hole in the floor. What the heck? I'm deferring all of this to you. I know nothing. I can't carry anymore. Oh. I can't carry any more powder. I should probably use some then. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going, Ann? Oh, I just picked that whole suit up. And a flare gun. And a harpoon gun. Getting in the water seems safe. Oh, dude. Absolutely. Similar to what we use in the Navy, old but in a good state. I should probably go see Mr. Throg Morton. You're very tired? I'm sorry to hear that, Ann. I'm going to unplug my computer. It doesn't need to be charged anymore. Um, I, I feel like I should go see Throg Morton, you know, before I go diving. I guess. No? I, I have no idea. First off, let me unmark this place. Is this the diving spot? That's the diving spot. Maybe I should just straight up go dive, you know? Maybe Throgmorton doesn't want to talk to me yet. I have no idea. <laughs> it just seems like a decent idea to go back and see him, but we're right here. Sorry I didn't go. I'm just exhausted all the time. I'll go Wednesday. Make sure you do. Yup. Yup. I guess I'll go diving. Without telling Throgmorton anything. I'm gonna... This seems like the smartest idea I could ever have, right? Ow. I... Oh, really? I am gonna go diving by myself in the place where several people died and went crazy. Seems, seems like a good idea, right? I am going to go diving by myself. No backup. No help. What dock is this on? Dock three. Am I back to my normal stream schedule? No, I'm not. Because I still have to go to physical therapy and every once in a while. Like tomorrow, I have to go to physical therapy so I can only stream for an hour or so tomorrow. Great idea. Yo. Thanks, so. This is such a bad idea. Oh no, this is such a bad idea. 
Oh wow, it just teleported me here. I didn't even have to like drive it. I didn't have to drive it or anything. It just teleported me here. I'm gonna hate this, aren't I? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> no backup. Just throwing that out there. No, I didn't bring anybody else with me. So if my line gets tangled up or it gets cut. Or I need some help. I don't have it. This is like the worst idea ever. This is such a bad idea. Just making sure there's nothing I missed. Okay. I'm glad you stream when you can. Yo, me too. <laughs> That's such a bad idea. It is Soma. It's totally Soma. Oh, good. A broken diving helmet. That... This isn't, this is just dumb. What do you want me to do here? I do not want to walk towards that thing. I've just got to be, just got to be completely honest. This is just, I'm not incredibly interested in going towards the monster. <laughs> Character design looks awesome. This has to be a good sign. A spare helmet. Oh my god. <laughs> Came back to see the situation you're in. I'm sorry about it. I'm sure you will recover very well, but it was also cool seeing you on Black Flag again. That's the game I found you on. Yo, Nate! Nate, what's going on, dude? How's it going, man? I only get three saves. Oh, I get three saves. <laughs> Nate, how's it going, man? What's going on, dude? <clears throat> like, come on! Really? Like, really? Who would keep walking towards this? <laughs> Who would walk towards this? Look at it again, Pobs. I am! I'm looking at it right now! Good how everybody else, good how's everybody else doing? Nate, I'm glad you're doing good, man. I'm doing all right. I'm a little freaked out by this. But, uh, I'm all right. My sanity is quickly dropping. Come on. 
see you if you... No! 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 Good. Good. Wonderful. I'm gonna let my sanity go all the way back up. Actually. I'm just gonna let it go all the way back up. Just to be completely 100% safe. Hey, don't do that. <laughs> I just walked around it. <laughs> it just pushed me gently. It didn't do anything. Now we see a big daddy. Jeez, I just beat The Last of Us for the first time because of the new ones coming out. And oh my gosh, very insane to say the least. Did you like it? Oh, it loaded. My bad, sorry. What? I'm out of the suit! Oh, yeah, it's normal. It's all good. Did you, uh, did you like it? Jump, jump, jump! In this game, just ripping off every other game with water in it. I don't know. The scientists didn't even take their tools with them. This is just... Water! I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like being underwater. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Okay. Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. I mean, I know it's the Cthulhu mythos and it's Cthulhu and stuff, so I know what I, I kind of know what to expect. It's not like an unknown quantity, but still. The suits are all cut up. It's it's still very creepy to be walking on the seabed completely. No no way to defend myself. And there's a giant monster that swims by. It's unnerving. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throgmorton. I loved it. Uh, in the ending, Joel kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but it was great. I, yep, dude, that's, everybody says that. It, I love it because of, I like, I love the game, The Last of Us, and I love the ending because it, it's not afraid to go that direction. It doesn't go for the happy sort of, like, good ending. Or I guess not happy, but it doesn't go for, like, the good ending. It has the balls to, like, stick with what it's doing. Uh, next you'll flash back to being a wall-building princess throwing coins at peasants as you ride by. Hello? Hark, he comes! The sacred full-bellied bearer of splendor! Full belly? Take me, make me, I beg you! Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Our, our, our eyes, first, second, third, opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk, listen, pray, wake, you holy worm. All right. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. You freaking worm. Oh, this is going to be real awkward. <laughs> I would love to do what you want me to do, but I can't. It won't let me do it. Oh, this thing, not him. Sorry. A perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? That was a short. That's it? Okay. 
preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Okay. Oh, I can go back in time. Yeah, to describe it in the best way I can without spoiling it. It's not what Jolt did that gets me, it's what he told Ellie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he may not be wrong. Like, there might be more, but we don't know that. There's no evidence of that. Have you noticed that every member of the secret cult tells you everything within two seconds of meeting them? It's just because I'm so handsome. They just... They just can't... Stand my handsomeness. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Okay. Oh, I really? Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. I didn't know you could leave like the aura of that. Cult always wants more members. What am I doing? I'm going back in time. I can go back in time and view events as they happened in the past. Forget them. Get the seed and the seal now. True. Okay. What? It's shivering. This no. Get away from me. I think I'm starting to get the picture. Yep. I think I went backwards. I think that's number one. You put your gun to your head. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Oh, or this might be one. This might be number one. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. This is two. Okay. <laughs> what? It's shivering. This is... No! Get away from me! This is three. Because they're taking her. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! Yeah. The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Oh, my sanity is dropping a bit. <laughs> oh, that looks like Ebrietas, dude. Yo, T.Y., how you doing, man? It has been a while, dude. How you doing, man? That looks like Ebrietas. Oh, I can mess with this? Cool. Good, what about you? Uh, dude, I am fantastic. I'm just playing this uh, spooky game. The temple discovered by the expedition was the place of worship for the weird creature. The statue and prehistoric ruins look like they were made not by the hand of man. Okay. Mind Palace. Let's do it. It basically all started with me seeing a top games list and Last of Us was number one ahead of so many games I love. So I had to see what all the fuss was about. Uh, dude, nice. Uh, something odd about being in the mad in the scientist's presence. I feel my grip on reality slipping. Members of the expedition took part in the dive, returned witless, babbling madness, taking hold of them. Hybrids wanted to recover the strange artifact and find the one responsible for disturbing it. So, really, 
Um, okay. I mean, that seems the easy connection. Honestly. Oh, you're gonna go to the U.S. in a few days? Very nice, dude. I missed you. Thanks, man. Which part? Florida? Oh, dude, nice. Which part? Visiting my family? Dude, very nice. Wow. BRB shower time. You do what you gotta do, Ann. You've been to Destin a lot? Nice. I can't leave the survivors. I have to abandon the survivors. Ooh. I don't... Okay. I don't see how saving the survivors would... I mean, obviously saving people is good, but they're so far gone at this point, I don't see how saving them would even help. And... I just don't see how saving them would help. If they're emanating a madness that's driving people insane, including me, who has, you know, a pretty strong mental capacity, not me personally, the character, I can't imagine what they would do to people on the surface, right? I I have to. The Yeah, the madness is way too infectious. It's not like they even have their minds anymore. They would just be crazy on the surface instead of crazy down here. But, uh, yeah, I abandon the survivors. And it's so the truth about the madness, they need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. Okay. Outbreak of madness on the Tanya was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him on the lifeboat to stop it. Albert Throgmorton was the source of the madness that made the Titania kill each other. It's too dangerous to save the survivors. The Innsmouthers or Harriet must have the answers about this madness. There you go. All right. I've made my decision. Sorry, guys. Sancta Mare, be our eyes. Eyes to see the distant stars. Don't get wet. Is that part of the yeehaw part? I love Alabama memes. I'm from Ten I assume Tennessee, so I'm pretty yeehaw. I felt at home down there, so I guess it's yeehaw. Yeehaw, tips hat. Alright. Do I have to walk back now? Because that's awful. I don't even know how I would save these guys. They don't have diving suits. I would have to come back down here several times to grab them. Which is not safe. I mean, we got attacked on the way in. <gasps> Gives nod. Do I have to make this walk or are you gonna teleport me back to the surface? Oh. I'm gonna get the bends. That's what's going to happen. Gets on horse. I just got the bends. Not, not an issue. Cool. Alright. Well. Back we go. Am I going to buy the new cod? I'm not planning on it, no. At some point, if it becomes super cheap, sure, but I'm not planning on getting it at release. Oh, dude, sweet. Our next division.
Give the new. I gave up COD a long time ago. Same since 2014. I've been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege. I only I only still play COD for the zombies, but the zombies have really been disappointing the last couple games. I'm debating whether I even care anymore at this point. But I want to like the zombies so much. Happens every year. Everybody uh, hypes it up. Says it's going to change it back to the old ways, but it always fails. T. Played Siege for two years. Nice. Well, that was a pretty tame vision. I just had something burrow in me. Seen worse. Thought it was going to get really odd, but uh, it didn't. All right, back to Throgmorton. Oh, this is that coin. How did I get back to the hotel? That's my first question. Also, that's still terrible and I hate it. All right. Where's Throgmorton at? There he is. How am I getting there? Um, this way. And then up. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Um, same. Burnt out for me now, but I love that game. I still play it. That's Overwatch for me. I play it significantly, and then I get burnt out on it, and then I go back to it and get burnt out on it. And I should basically be able to shoot straight. Every now and then I get into it for a while, maybe get plat and quit, but I haven't played the same since Wall Noise. Or since White Noise, sorry. Uh, I don't think I want to do that. I want to keep going. You know what the spookiest thing about this game is? That speedboat. How does it keep teleporting to where I need it to be? Cthulhu, I need you to leave me alone. Yep, I need to go here and then up. I need to go here and then take a left. I played Overwatch for a while too, but I'm too far gone now. I haven't a clue with all the new characters. Dude, that's how I felt. I missed like three characters in a row and I was like, I've just, I'm so far and lost and behind now. I got back into it though. And now Baptiste came out and I was like, all right. <laughs> I've definitely learned for me personally, Overwatch is a thing to play in small doses. And it's fun. If I overdo it, it gets kind of... I don't know. It loses, I lose interest. Only thing I'm worried about is my job. That's that's not a bad state of being. I played it since release and stopped after Moria. Gotcha. Why do you have a shotgun in a, in the dudes? I guess your body just. You guys are bodyguards. Uh, your expedition needs help. Your expedition members died. I, yeah. <sighs> Bad news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are dead, and the Innsmouthers kidnapped the professor. Those degenerates, they dare get in my way. They wanted something from the ruins. 
Your expedition found something buried in the ruins. The Innsmouthers were after it. They captured Professor Dell along with the artifact she was carrying. Artifact? What artifact? Where did you find them? Tell me everything. Your men found some kind of underwater temple. In it was an ancient artifact. The Innsmouthers call it the Seal. The Innsmouthers were lying in wait. Your men took the item, and the Innsmouthers took their chance and made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. How did they catch them off guard? Seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental Don't breakdown. sugarcoat it. The Innsmouthers must have known about that and waited for the right moment. They... They knew what was going to happen. Inconceivable. Inconceivable. Wait a moment, how did you know they were Innsmouthers? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. That guy's literally they an have ape. Harriet yeah. And the artifact she found. But she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. There's also fish people. There's this, this ape dude, and then there's fish people. How is this connected? I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. Sure. I can be delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. Okay? That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an And banana is my safe word. I don't know why we're sharing this information. You'll find it's fair. Have a good day. Okay. Wow! Wow, I got a lot of stuff. Most importantly, I got uh, a skill point. Yo, more XP! <laughs> So, we now have the maximum XP we can sort of earn, which is super nice. From here, I think what we want is... Man, crest, crest, crest. Quest reward items would be super nice. Like, that would be so good. This whole, this whole thing, this whole, like, tree, I want this whole tree right here. Uh, this one, I don't think I'm incredibly worried about. I mean, maybe, but... I also want the health and the melee. Upgrades. One more thing! Give me a banana. Quid pro quo. Okay. I have side cases, but I actually haven't done any side cases. I want to do the letters from Oakmount, but like... I got attacked when I went to the... <laughs> um...
Salvation Harbor near the crossing of Fitz O'Callaghan and O'Callaghan and Old Church Road. Where is Salvation Harbor? Dang, that's far. Um, oh, there's Octopus F. Shout out. Uh, where is this? So there's Old Church Road, but where's the other one? Church Road. Huh. Well, that one's really far away. I'm not going to do that one right now. Streets of Cloverside, Coverside on the corner of St. Elmo and Kingsport. We're in Coverside, so. Oh no, we're in Old Grove. We're next to Coverside. Um, it's Kingsport and St. Elmo, yeah? That's it right there. Is that right? Yep. Corner of St. Elmo and Kingsport. That's it. All right, I'm gonna go there and see what we can find. I have no idea what we'll find, but I'm gonna go there and see what's going on. Can I take this boat all the way there, or do I have to get out at some point? Uh, I can go. Oh, I get. I can get the boat all the way there. Yeah. So if I go left, and then I go straight for a while, and I turn right here all the way down. Shout out to the Cyclops 2, the most dependable and durable, long-lasting boat engine of this time period in this game. Anybody been hopping on the recent Minecraft revival? I'm loving, uh, or Minecraft train. I'm loving its revival. I've been playing Minecraft on and off for the past like year at this point. <laughs> Me and Charlotte have been trying to get all the achievements on the Xbox one version. So we've been hopping in and out of Minecraft for the past year. I'm always on the Minecraft train. Personally. Oh, okay, it's where I'm... Oh, that's interesting. So the arrow is actually based on the camera, not actually the direction I'm facing. Interesting. All right. Are these just locations of infestation areas? Because I can't deal with that, man. Also, shout out to this game having Dark Souls fog walls. I think these are definitely things I need to come back to when I have more damage dealing abilities. Once I've gotten, like, once I've upgraded my damage dealing, I can come back and do some of these, but I cannot do infestation areas. I am not strong enough. I am so weak. So I will chill here 
until I get attacked by something I can't fight, and then we will leave. Love my sanity. Go back up. I keep going back to Minecraft. It's still fun. I've been playing it off and on for a while, but here recently I've gotten really into it. It's quite complicated now. Ever since that guy lost his five-year hardcore world, I've been watching him restart, and it's great. FM. I do not know where Mommy and Daddy went. Mommy kissed me on the forehead and handed me Mr. Teddy and left so many days ago. I am all by myself, and Mr. Teddy and I are so cold and wet. If you have blankies, I would be so happy if you are nice people and you find this note. I live in a brown house with lots of flowers, but they are wet and sad now. My name is Timmy, and if you help me, we can be the best of friends. Just please, no more monsters. I am all red and sticky. This kid writes better than most adults. This kid has better writing than most adults. Oh, I can't carry any more gunpowder. Well, I might as well use it. I, I'm thinking I might go pay that, uh, I want to say landlady, but that's not, that, that's not right. That lady who can, like, see the future. Where she was like, I'll tell you the future for one bullet. I may go do that now. I have a little, have kind of an abundance of stuff. Scary. Kill Timmy. Oh, Timmy, no! Ogre! <laughs> Leave Timmy alone! Well, Timmy's dead. Rip. Did I complete the note? Like, was that the note? Is that not the note? <laughs> I don't know. All right, my boat dis- never mind. I parked it on the side. We're good. It didn't give me like a, hey, you did it. So I, I don't know what if I did it or <laughs> Okay. Um. I already read that one. Um. Oh, I did it. Okay, yeah, I did it. That one doesn't have a mark on it anymore. Okay. He's either evil or French. Okay, that one doesn't have a mark, so we got that one. Um, is there any other one that's close by? In Old... Okay, where are we? I, I don't know the city yet. We're in Coverside. Old Grove is to the north of us. It's close by. So, Coverside, North Grove or Old Grove, are things that we can sort of, are feasible at the moment. That's not feasible. Western Advent. That's in the middle, right? Yeah. Eastern Reed Heights. Nope. Um... Okay. This is an Old Grove. That's Reed Heights. Reed Heights. Western Advent. Coverside, I'm in Coverside. That's Groomhaven Bay. Okay, I'm in Coverside. The corner of Tanner and Old Church Road. Tanner and Old Church Road. 
There's Old Church Road. Tanner. Where's Tanner? Oh. That's in, like, Advent and... Alright, it's in two places. I'll give it a try. I'll try to get there. Sure. Can I take the boat that way? I could. I can go up to the left, and then I just gotta keep following. Oops! Alright. Okay. I'm in the coral. Send help. How did this happen? Let go! <laughs> Alright, well. Come at me, man-eating eels. Hey look, it's man-eating eels. They're eating me. I need a new boat. Oh damn, dude. Oh damn, dude. I guess it gets worse as you stay here. Alright. Sweet. I didn't realize it, like, got worse as you stayed. I thought they were just gonna eat me slowly. If he is... If he's France, he speaks the language of the gays. All right. I have to make an environment for my illustration, and I'm stuck. I can't think of anything to draw, and I suck at environments. Draw Timmy stuck in quicksand. I still wonder how long have I been a follower. There's a way to figure that out. I just don't know. I know I'm here for a long time. Or mangrove swamp. Pops is like my second dad now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ogre. Uh, what's England like during the fall? Do the trees change color? And, and, England in the fall is like England in the summer and the spring. Uh, it's always raining. It never stops raining. And trees don't exist. Sorry to break it to you like that. Okay, what am I, where am I? What? What's the last thing you gave me? Oh, okay, we got that, that's fine. Oh, and my marker's still there. Oh, that's pretty freaking sweet. Oh, this is good. They turn a mix of ambers, oranges, and browns. It's beautiful and wet. How can you check your long you're a follower? I don't know. <laughs> I know there's a way to do it. I just don't know how to do it. I know there is a way. I just don't know how. Uh, so I literally have to go all the way. Yeah, I just gotta go straight for a while. Okay. Go beans! Cool. Cool freaking beans, dude. Sorry. Need to go around you. If you don't mind. Bob's a Twitch master. It's not a Twitch thing. It's it's like an there's like a offsite thing. You go 
to a different site or you go get an extension and it tells you, but I don't, I don't remember. BRB, no worries, Ogre. I'm trying to think of places for my wedding with Perry since most of my family won't come anyways. I should get to pick somewhere awesome, right? I went crazy. I want a crazy pretty outdoor wedding in the fall. Yo, Grand Canyon. Great Wall of China. Oh, I was attacked by a buoy! The buoy! <laughs> the bu you saw the buoy came at me! I made a Connor Detroit Become Human drawing for arts. I got an A plus for that. Yo, nice. I want to play that game at some point. I haven't yet. I haven't played it, seen it, done anything with it. Infested. All right, everything's infested. Doesn't open. Doesn't open either. Oh, wow, that was a lot of stuff. Oh, my gosh, that was a lot of stuff. Okay. Wow, those things look tough. Not gonna lie. I don't know if I want to fight these. I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. Alright, what exactly did the notes say? Which note was it? Um, ah! I felt dizzy. I saw a woman. I fell asleep. Okay. Nice, man. My girlfriend keeps asking if I can draw her, but I only had luck with that one. Oh, dang it. That guy's holding a lantern. I thought I could interact with that. This doesn't help me. These notes are so vague, I don't know what they want. The other one was Timmy. So that other note was Timmy. I'll go to bed, football train tomorrow. Uh, Good night, peeps. See you next time. Yo, T.Y., you have a wonderful sleep, dude. Appreciate you stopping by, man. It can't be that it wants me to clean the alley out, is it? Could it be? I'm over, this is overwhelming. There's too much going on here. Whoa! Oh, I killed it. It only took like all of my ammo, but I got it. I guess I could have set a trap. Or thrown, I have no idea. Oh, it's a grenade.
Oh, I got it. <laughs> Combat is odd. I'm not gonna lie. Combat is super odd. What the heck? Oh, that guy's spit was still on the ground. I should have saved before I did this. I just wasted a lot of resources. It's also extra weird that it doesn't give you a confirmation if you're aiming at something. Like there's no, the reticle doesn't turn red or anything. It just is on them, I guess. That was a lot of stuff. That was also a lot of stuff. Gunpowder apparently is the most abundant thing ever. You're gonna die. No. <laughs> Alright, music, chill. There's not even anything here currently. I'm getting a bunch of shells for things I don't have. Oh! How do I? Oh, that's slow. Hey, come here. Uh. Y'all see that? Y'all saw that, yeah? You guys saw that he just fell into the ground? He just literally went into the ground. Okay, bye! Oh, somebody refilled this trash can. That's generous. Or was that a different trash can? That's a different trash can, never mind. Nope. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kinda wish this game didn't have combat. I kinda wish it was just a detective game. No, just one of you. Well, that didn't last long. Ow. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll save it. I don't need it right now.
be cool if you had to hide from him instead of fight him. Yeah, the fighting makes it give it it gives it a really evil within vibe. Oh, that uses two gunpowder per bullet. Okay. That's fine. I'm getting a lot of gunpowder. I don't think I will forever. Eventually I'll run out, so I might be overzealous with what I'm doing. Oh, that's a free first aid kit. The game was pretty explicit about like, hey, you don't have infinite resources. Oh! My I'm out! I'm out! I'm leaving! I'm going! Oh my gosh! I'm out! I'm out of here! Oh, I'm out of here! I'm leaving! Oh my gosh! I don't want to fight that! I do not want to fight that! Oh, out! Big boy, indeed! <laughs> Maybe you could tell the local areas that they're infested or whatever, and they will go in and clear out the area for you. I'd like for our main boy to be all brains and no brawn. I don't like that he's a stereotypical hard-edged detective dude. Big boy! I'm fine with no combat. Or, I'd be fine with no combat, but I would still kill Timmy. As you should. This is all- this is very understandable. Encouraged, even. <sighs> Alright, I don't know what that one wants. If it wants me to clean out that area, screw that. I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> I don't know what this note here once, so we'll get rid of that for now. Um Right. In southwest in southern shells. Southern shells is not near me. Yeah. I could get there, but I I am fine, I think. Uh Field research. Ask me to visit a shop in Salvation Harbor. That's also not near me. Old Grove. I could do that. Situated between Wind Half and Century. I do gotta say, I really like that they named all the streets. I think it's really cool. <laughs> also, um, I'm not kidding. This map looks like a map generator that I use for D&D. &D. It's really odd how, how almost exactly the same it looks. Wait, what? Okay, what exactly did this say? Between Windhav and Century. Oh, Goldbridge Road. Okay, there you go. Right here. Although that's a long road. Oh no, in between wind- okay, so it's right here. Uh, alright, I just need to go down Asher, I have to cross a little bit of water and then I'm good. There's just a 
tiny bit of water I gotta cross and then I'm good. I wonder if sleep- I wonder if I can, like, sleep, and I wonder if that will regen my health to maximum. Also, come on, Cthulhu, make your appearance, dude. I know we saw a giant tentacle monster earlier, but... That was still the coolest thing I think that's happened <laughs> in the game. <laughs> was that underwater walk with the giant, gigantic tentacle monster. <laughs> that thing was massive. Maybe take a short rest? Yeah, I'll use some hit dice. While I take a short rest. D8s, I think, for a detective. I... I, I just want to play the next session of D&D. <laughs> it's just going to be completely honest. I mean, a couple days from now I'll get over it, but for now I'm like, come on! <laughs> okay. So his house is one of these. Oh, hey, it might have been... Wow, was this was it the first house I guessed? That would be crazy. That'd be crazy. Yes, no. Oh, hello. Yep, here we go. It's literally the first house I guessed. He wants me to just check if he's alive, right? That was the thing. What happened to him? Okay. I'm desperate to hit level three. I get some cool toys then. I, uh, I, I forgot to do this at the end of the... I heard that. I forgot to do this at the end of the stream, and I also forgot to say this during... I forgot to actually say a lot of things during the stream. Um, but I give out XP for roleplay. The door won't budge. And... That's creepy. I think you guys deserve some roleplay XP. I was gonna give you guys 100 roleplay XP. Am I hitting him or not? I feel like I am. Ah! <laughs> the cheese! <laughs> the free- <laughs> The freaking cheese! <laughs> oh, that was- <laughs> That was awesome! Why keep a 40-year-old newspaper article? City's so Darling Scholar and Adventure is once again an eligible bachelor for the Texas Unreadable. Throg Morton! Mr. Throg Morton, it is with the deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again, the demand for it has increased, and now it is triple that which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time that I have raised the price, but the extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Only 130 XP left. Are you guys really at 7... 70? 
I guess that's right. The door won't budge. How many XP is a rat? I would have to look. I have to look it up. I mean, you guys are gonna level faster at the, the low at levels like this, anyway. You're gonna get to level three and f like up to level four pretty quickly, but once you guys hit level four, your leveling will start slowing down a bit. But yeah, you guys will get to your level three archetypes next stream easily. That's weird. Is that a dragon? What is this? I can't. Oh my god, I can never carry anymore. <laughs> this was not a thing I thought was going to be a problem in this game. It was inventory. Supplies are a little bit more abundant than I anticipated, I guess. I gotta- I just took a statue's head, don't worry about it. Oh dude, it's a mask of many faces! It's like one of my favorite freaking items in D&D. Oh yeah, the game setup says you should read 5th level in 2 to 4 decent sessions. Yeah. Early leveling is easy. When you get the later levels, it starts to really slow. <laughs> that is one of my small... I mean, I, to I totally understand why that is the way it is. But that is one of my small complaints with D&D. I wish the leveling was more uniform and less... Drastically scaling. But I 100% understand why. You're just, you are just so weak at the start. It is unreal. The alchemy jokes becoming one of my favorites. Yo, mayonnaise. You need mayonnaise? We got mayonnaise. Oh, I didn't expect that to open. That surprised me. I expected that door to not open. Oh, he's dead. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Yo, grab the gun. Bullets are important. The game has explicitly told me bullets are important. Grab the gun. Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. What's that? A mirror? Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken. Picture of a mirror? Grab a gun. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. In the leg of holding. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to need, a, like, a proper bag of holding, though, at some point. Leg of holding is nice, but it's still a small bag. <sighs> Only slight scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. You're not going to open it and see if they left anything behind? Oh, gosh! Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. Wow. That's intense. I know it wants me to do the thing there. I'm just making sure I'm getting everything. I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Interesting. Huh. Oh, shoot. That's a lot of warning shots. Not bad. <laughs> Squint, run! 
Oh, oh Kay, I have killed him. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybag. Who are you? What in case name are you doing in my house? Okay, let's see what we have here. I think this is pretty easy. Easiest One, gig in this district. You grab- two, Who are you? What in case three. name are you- Squint, run! Oh, God! Okay, I have killed him. Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. I always forget that that lowers my sanity. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. I really keep thinking that I can, like, grab something on his body and I can't. Also, I know the first time that happened. Oh, hello. Yeah, you like what you see, buddy? He had himself commissioned as a king. Um, I know the first time I start to lose my mind and that hallucination shows up is just kind of, like, startling, but... Now that I've seen it like four times, it's or like eight times, I'm kind of just like, all right, whatever. <laughs> whatever, man. Yeah, you're creepy. Woo. <laughs> um. I understand now why carrying more stuff is appealing. I'm going to grab this and start working my way to here for the for the melee stuff. I feel like the melee improvement will really go a long way in saving me uh, ammo. I feel like I've used too much ammo as it is, but we'll see. Well, I found out what happened to him, I guess. Time to go tell Throg Morton. Oh, wait, hang on. I need to uh, do all this. Um, two men broke in. Scoop mentions this is not his first robbery in the district. Heavy stone. Oh, wait a minute. A heavy stone head from some ancient statue. Ah. My bad. I didn't pick that up. Oh, sweet. A first aid kit. That was it? That was just give me a couple bullets and a first aid kit? I guess that's cool. I guess I need to find these people. Or I'm going to tell Throgmorton. I'm going to go back to Throgmorton. Because we're not that far from Throgmorton. So I'm going to go back and see what he has to say. If he says anything at all. Sure. That one. Doesn't matter. I just need a marker. I just need a marker, man. Hey, knock it off. Hey, 
I bet he says. I bet. I bet he doesn't say anything. Oh, Carpenter Manor, huh? All right. Keep that on the the brain. I bet Throgmorton has nothing to say. I bet he's like, "What are you doing here? Go back out there." Oh, hello. Oh, no, I actually can talk to him. I've got some good news, and I've got some bad news. The good news is I've found Glover. And the bad? The bad news is he's dead. Murdered. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? I did! Oh, I didn't! Then why are you wasting my time? Ah. Find me Glover's killer. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. Cool. Yeah, ape dude, Throgmorton, the silly last name. Throgmorton! Ape man! <laughs> Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up for today. This is, a, this is an interesting little game. Um, well, we will continue this and I will try and beat the whole game um, yeah I'm gonna try and go through the whole game so yeah otherwise guys thank you so much for watching uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you for being here with me when you could have been anywhere else in the entire world it means a lot to me thanks for hanging out guys yo thank you avalanche and uh, as always Stay awesome, everybody. Oh, uh, Black Flag tomorrow. And then this will continue Wednesday. So, yeah. Okay. Now, bye-bye now.